Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how we can plot our decision tree after building our model. So before moving forward, make sure that you have watched our video in randomized search and grid search that is there in our playlist. All right. So let's move forward. Here we have done imported this data. We have done pre-processing. We build our model right and after building this model what we did was we tried to find the optimal hyperparameters here right so we applied this grid search and here we get this optimal hyperparameters after performing this grid search right and after that we implemented the randomized search cv so in randomized search cv these were the hyperparameters that we got here so we are next step will be to build our decision tree using this hyperparameters and this is going to be our final decision tree here all right so here i have built this decision tree with the optimal hyperparameters here the criterion is entropy max depth is 5 minimum sample lift is 3 and minimum sample split is 2 and we have this variable final d tree so our final decision tree is going to be this final d tree we have run this model and then we check the accuracy so here the accuracy is 0 0.84 for training and 0 0.79 for testing set all right now we have built our model now we want to visualize whatever decision tree that we have built how this is working under the hood or how the splitting is happening and how the decision is taken behind this code right so here to do that we can use this plot tree module from this sklearn all right so from sklearn dot tree we are importing this plot tree all right so we have this plot tree module and here i have given this figure size so we have given this large figure size as this is going to be a, a big decision tree right so here we are plotting this decision tree and here we have given this estimator or our decision tree so it is final d tree and here filled equals to true so it is going to be filled with all the information here we have given the class name so class name was 0 and 1 so here we have given died and survived and feature names equals to x dot column so it is going to consider the feature that is there in x all right and here what we are doing is we are also saving our figure all right so we i have given this plt dot save fig and here is our name of this figure that is decision tree and after running this decision tree we got this plot here or decision tree here so this is our decision tree here and if you zoom in so if you zoom in you are going to get all the information that is there in this node here so at root node you have all these data points then based on some feature the splitting happen and then you have the impurity so what is the impurity at this node what is the impurity at this node right like this we keep on splitting and here you have also saved our figure using plt dot save fig all right so if you are not able to see anything you just click on this file icon here and here we have this decision tree dot png so we can download it and have a nice look at it now let's me comment this plt dot save fig and here let's give the max depth so max underscore depth equals to p only and now let's run this so here we have visualized till the depth three all right so this is our depth one two and this one is three here all right so we have visualized from is till the depth three here all right so here at root node the first splitting is happening based on this fe feature which is sex 
mail less than equals to 0 0.5 so here we have only two values in sex mail right one that is one and zero so here if it is less than equals to 0 0.5 that that means it is female and if it it is greater than 0 0.5 then it is male and here you can check the entropy at this root node and number of samples that you have also the different class levels that are present here so you have 444 died and 268 that is survived and here the splitting is happening based on sex male feature all right and like this you can visualize all the stuffs and how the decision tree is working or making this classification so this is how we plot this decision tree in our using this python module or sklearn library here so i hope it is clear to you